Today on the road less traveled, it may not be as big a deal as football or basketball, but the sport known as Quidditch is picking up popularity in colleges. The game imagined by author J.K. Rowling for the Harry Potter book series has now flown off the pages and onto playing fields worldwide. Muggle Quidditch, otherwise known as non-magical Quidditch, started back in 2007 and is now a club sport at the University of Rhode Island. There is a major difference between their game and the one in the books. Because it's a wizarding game, obviously we have to play it on brooms because some of us are witches. We don't actually fly, but we do run around on broomsticks. Each team has seven players, and there's an independent snitch who can run anywhere without a broom. Cross-country runner, dressed in yellow, like me, and they have a ball and a sock attached to the back of their pants, like this. The other equipment needed are dodgeballs, a red one known as the quaffle, and blue ones known as bludgers. The Quidditch field is shaped like an oval, but Quidditch players call it the Quidditch pitch because that's the way the British say it. And on each end, there are three Quidditch hoops on this side and on that side. This co-ed sport is incredibly physical. It's intense, like we walk away with these bruises and cuts and everyone's like, what were you doing? Are you fighting a lion? No, I was playing Quidditch. You're not supposed to wear any protective materials other than those leather helmets that you sometimes see on rugby players because you don't want to get a concussion, which has happened to this team multiple times. There are two ways to score points in Quidditch. First, you can take the quaffle and throw it through a hoop. Second, you can catch the snitch and snatch it. Each team has three offensive players. A chaser tries to score on the three hoops, on one of the three hoops that are on the opposite team. So they're kind of like a forward in soccer. Three defense players who basically play dodgeball by throwing the bludgers. We're supposed to throw them at opposing team members, and if they are hit, they must drop whatever they're holding and run back to their goal hoops and tag them before they can resume play. A goalie, otherwise called a keeper who tries to stop the opposing chasers from scoring. People are going to go for all three goals. There's no specific place you need to block. And you have to kind of guess where they're going to shoot at. And a seeker, whose sole goal is to catch that sneaky snitch. At the beginning of the game, I run away and hide. And after a certain amount of time, the seekers get to come and try and find me. And when they do, I can do anything. So I, 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 can, I can climb trees, I can tackle them, I can throw water balloons at them. The other seeker is constantly trying to make sure that they spot the snitch first so that way they can catch it. And also, um, the snitch is definitely out to get you. The snitch has no rules. When the snitch is snatched, the game is over. We run back to the field and let the refs know that the snitch was caught. They call the game and add the 30 points to the team who caught the snitch. It's a thrilling sport for all. It's so exciting to see, you know, such uh, a new sport growing very fast internationally and I just, I love everything about it. The Northeast Regional Quidditch Tournament is happening this Saturday and Sunday at Fort Adams State Park. And guess what? The event is free and family friendly. 25 teams are competing, 11 of which are going to qualify for the World Cup. For more information on the upcoming tournament, head to WPRI.com and click on the Roadshow.